Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Julie from The Techie Teacher, and I just wanted to pop in real quickly this afternoon to talk about using split screens in the classroom. This all came up the other day when my friend Jennifer Kimbrell and I, Jen from Tech with Jen, we were talking about how we can get students to split their screen so they're able to view two different browsers all at once. And I mentioned to Jen that I love the Chrome extension split screen, and when I went to the Chrome store to grab the link for her, I noticed that it was no longer available. And that happens from time to time with Chrome extensions. Sometimes they just stop working or they're no longer available to us. So I started researching some different Chrome extensions and trying a bunch out at home, but I never like to recommend an extension without trying it with kids at school. So this one that I wanna show you is Kid Tested, Techie Teacher Approved. And I actually, uh, posted this picture on Instagram the other day. The Chrome extension is called Split Tabs, and you can get to it by going to split-tabs.com. And I was really surprised, hey Lauren, <laughs> I was really surprised with um, how many people commented on the post that they had no idea that you had the capability to split your screen and that we could use this in the classroom in a variety of ways. So I wanna show you this extension. However, before I do that, I do wanna mention that a lot of devices these days have the capability of splitting the screen without needing a Chrome extension. You could split a screen between browsers as well as applications. Those of you who are Chromebook users, there is, I wanna make sure this, yeah, still going. Uh, there is the shortcut by holding down the Alt key and hitting one of the brackets. So the bracket to the right will snap your screen to the right. The bracket to the left will snap it to the left. And then you can just click and drag one of the tabs to fill in the other side of the screen. So then the kids have two screens up. One, maybe they're researching in one tab. The other tab, they're taking notes. So that's the Chromebook. Uh, PC users, and it depends on what operating system you're using. The last school system I worked for, we had Dell laptops and we were running Windows 7. You can hold down the Windows button on the keyboard and tap the arrow button on your keyboard and it will snap your screen left and right. I also think you have like some sort of snap function that when you pull a screen, either an application or a browser, to either side of your computer screen, it'll kind of light up with a rectangle and then you can set it to be either on the left hand or the right hand side. Uh, iPads, you can do it within your browser. You can even open a browser and open up another app. So you could have like the Google Slides app on one side and your Safari on the other. Now I think that is only available on iPad Pros, iPad Mini 4s, and iPad 2 Airs. But don't quote me on it. Who knows what iOS 11 will bring. But Mac users, this is my favorite because I just learned about this today and I'm a Mac user, 24 seven, had no idea about this. You can split your screen with this little trick. I hope I'm not the only one in the world who didn't know this. You can hold down the little green button that we use to expand a window and then your screen will shrink and you can snap it to either the left hand or the right hand side of your screen. Had no clue. Now I wish there was a keyboard command um, if you know of one, let me know, but as far as the Mac's concerned, I don't think there is one. Therefore, I like to use this Chrome extension. It's super easy, and I just find that I use Chrome extensions more than other things on my computer. So I'm going to share my screen to show you how easy it is, and let's see, let me pull up something here. There we go. So here is a Google Slides presentation that perhaps students are working on. They're learning about weathering and erosion. And on this slide, they are having to type in the definition of erosion. What I love about Google, I don't know if you can see it. Um, I might need to move my screen here. But down in the lower right-hand corner, there's a plus sign. This is the Explore tool. They can click on Explore, and then they can come up here in the search and type in what they want to research and it will populate a bunch of different links. Now right now if I were to click on geography for kids it's going to open it up in a different tab. So the kids are having to swap back and forth, toggle back and forth between tabs and 
it's just sometimes tricky for them. It's tricky for me. I lose train of thought sometimes. But if I come up here to my split tab extension, it looks like two squares with a rectangle underneath. I can click it, and then I have the option of popping my screen into a four square, so you could have four browsers at once, one on top of the other, or side by side. So when I click side by side, I can scroll through on this side, and then on the left-hand side, I can take my notes and fill in the information I need. So that's one way that you could use it. Another way, let's see. Hi, Emily. Um, here is an example. Ooh, I don't want to go full screen yet. Here's an example of a Google Slides presentation that I have of practicing context clues. So it's a game. The kids have to guess the, what the unknown, actually it's a made up word, what it is. So I saw a czar, then I add some context clues. I saw a small gray czar, then I add even more context clues, and then the last click, a picture appears, and that reveals the answer. And this is just a great way to teach them context clues. While I'm projecting that presentation, the kids have a Today's Meet chat room up on their screen, and they're typing in their guesses at the same time. So as a teacher, I like to have both of these projected on my screen so I can see the presentation and I can monitor the Today's Meet chat room. Oh goodness, here we go. Let me pop this back in. I'm clicking on too many things at once. So I'm going to click my split screen. I'm going to click one by two and now we're side by side. Now, this Google Slides presentation shows the thumbnails on the left-hand side, and I wish there was an easier way to hide those thumbnails, and I don't think there is, but this guy, I wrote down his name, what's his name? James Malcolm. James Malcolm, wherever you are out there, thank you. He developed something called the Toggle Slide Panel, and I'll throw this into the comments at the end. When you click on the Toggle Slide Panel, because he just asks you to... Uh, bring this code into your bookmarks bar. When you click it, it makes those um, slides disappear. So then the kids do not see what's coming next. This is an instance when I would use my Max um, snapping feature to snap my browser into the left-hand side because then I could click present and it would just show the presentation if I didn't have James Malcolm little code there to take away those slides and it would take all it would take all of this excess away but if you're on a Chromebook this um, little Chrome extension would be nice for you to use and let me get rid of all of this I want to come back to you guys some other ways we could use it, um, you could compare and contrast websites, like when you're teaching uh, reliable websites, you could bring two different websites up. Michelle, don't worry, you can watch the replay, this is going to be on my page, so you can just come back to my page and play it again to catch the beginning. Um, Reliable websites, you can show one website that's reliable on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, one that is not, and you guys can talk about the similarities and the differences. Uh, kids could be looking for data on one side of their screen and entering it into a spreadsheet on the other side of the screen. So many different ways you could use this simple little extension, or even if you now know how to snap your screen side by side depending on the device that you use. So just wanted to share that with you guys today. And like I said, I'll drop the little trick about that uh, bookmarklet toggle for Google Slides into the comments. And feel free to ask any questions, uh, leave any ideas in the comments below. I love to hear from you. And have a great weekend. I'll talk to you.